So I'm going to show you some animation stuff. I'll start by dragging a canvas component out here. With the canvas, you typically want to fill the parent so it goes across the whole screen of the phone and you know make it some height. I'm going to make this guy 300 pixels. And you can kind of see how it changes over here in the designer. Um, you can see that's where all the action will take place. I'm also going to grab a couple uh, balls here. I'm going to put one here and we'll just have another one because we're going to do some various things with, with this guy. Um, and then I'm going to grab one last component which is a, a clock component. And I'm going to make the clock component's timer interval about 50, meaning every 50 milliseconds, 20 times a second, we will um, have the timer trigger and cause some ac activity. So now I'm going to go over to the blocks editor and I'm going to show you how to make that those balls move. First I'll just make a ball move directly across. So I'm going to grab the clock and the timer event. So I know this is going to happen every 50 milliseconds. I have to remember the timer interval um, from over in the designer that I set. And every 50 milliseconds I'm going to move ball 1. And I'm going to move ball 1 by just changing his X coordinate. I'm going to leave the Y coordinate the same but I'm going to change his X coordinate by just a little bit. And I'm going to click on here and get a plus and I'm just going to change it by 10 pixels. So I'm going to stick that in there. I'll bring up an emulator so we can see what's happening. But what should happen is as soon as the app starts running that ball should should start going horizontally about 10 pixels a second. Uh, so I'll just move the emulator over here. Um, and kind of at the same speed, I'll move a ball downward. So for ball two, since I'm going to want it to go up and down, I'm going to change its Y coordinate. So, that, so ball one should go left to right, and ball two will end up going top to bottom. And I'll just make it go the same speed. What the heck? So it's basically 10 pixels every 50 milliseconds. And you can do the math to see exactly how that would shape up. Um, so I'm going to start this guy. And I'm going to say connect to device. Whoops. Let's see, why is it not connecting to this emulator? Let's see if I got another emulator. Nope, I don't. Maybe it wasn't ready. Let's see. Nope. So I got an emulator up and I can connect to it. So I'm going to connect. It'll take a little bit of time to connect, but when this app starts running, watch closely because as soon as as soon as it starts running, this timer will start trigger, and every 50 milliseconds, my ball one is going to move left to right. It's going to start over here and go across, and ball two should start at the top and slowly move down. Um, so let's see what happens here. See if if my app's working correctly. There they go, and there, you can see they're going about the same speed. And when they hit the edge of the canvas, remember my canvas doesn't go all the way down the screen, but it goes down um, 400 pixels. It's going to stop there, and then of course the right edge is going to stop there. So that's that's what's happening. If I wanted to change the speed of these, I could. One thing I could do is just change how far I move each time frame um, to test it. I'd have to rerun my emulator, restart it. And it'll go through the whole situation again to kind of restart the, the app. Um, and now the left to right ball should go, go much faster than the top to down ball. Um, so let's check, check that out. And there it goes. The app is initializing. Our balls will appear and start moving. And yeah, the X to Y one's going faster, twice as fast. Um, thank you, and we'll, we'll get to some more in a second.